15. Again, the shift, Moorhead to the strong side right. Tate is blitzing. Payton cut inside him. Payton with the running room out the right side and now forced out by Lee. Picked up about five, and Lee drove Payton all the way over to the Bears bench. And there's a pile up there with flags flying. Mark Lee, number 22, taking Peyton all the way to the Bears bench. That is uh, tough territory yes. to be intruding on at this point with tempers already frayed before this game even began. Plus, to offend us, uh, Walter Peyton is a mistake, as we were talking about, because the Bears love, love to protect him. He's the guy that's the heart of the team. And uh, that's something that can rile up the Chicago Bear offense or, in fact, the entire team. So not a wise move by the Green Bay Packers. The referee is number 95, Bob McElwee, and you see him discussing the play with his staff. I bet those officials uh, got their game faces on today knowing they were assigned to this game. Personal foul, number 22, defense, 15 yards, first down. Well... Johnny, that brings us back to what I asked you just moments ago. Does this emotional high that the Packers are on for this game, does it have the possibility of penalizing them when they pick up penalties uh, on the field? That's a very good point, and I was talking to Steve McMichael. Let's listen. Personal foul, 22 defense. Player is disqualified. Oh. Wow. 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 Uh, the Packers are hurting a defensive back anyway. They have... Uh, Two new safeties, and uh, Mark Lee is one of their starting cornerbacks. Packers uh, really be hurting because they had to activate Burgess, and they're really down to the uh, uh, the bone when it comes to defensive backs. They had already lost Mark Murphy and Mike McLeod to injuries from this game, and Tom Flynn, uh, McLeod and Murphy unable to go today, with Murphy going uh, onto the injured list and uh, with uh, McLeod going on injured reserve. Tom Flynn with a sore ankle unable to start today and with Lee out, Forrest Gregg will now be down to Gary Hayes, a second year man from Fresno State on the corner with just a Ronnie Burgess who was just activated this week as a reserve. Well, the Packer fans don't like it. You have to wonder. It's early in the game and uh, I mean, it's an important game and uh, it might be kind of a stiff penalty for a, a late hit, an awful stiff penalty to penalize him for the rest of the game. Let's take a look at it. The Packers blitzed here. Mossy Cade ran right out of the play as Peyton uh, got some running room. Now 22 is Mark Lee, and he comes up here on the outside. Peyton heading to the sidelines. He made a good play to that point, and then he made it a little too good. Well, I think uh, Walter Peyton gave him a little stiff arm, too, at the same time. They go, got ticked off. They have more today. 3rd and 15. In motion. Comes Galt out of the backfield. And the shotgun formation. And runs out of time, and he is set. And it is Charlie Martin with an extra shot. And the ball comes loose. Play is dead as it's taken to the end zone. But after Martin had made the sack, there was additional pushing and shoving. And now one must hope that this does not degenerate into a non-football game. The Packers, inspired with their emotion toward the Bears, have stopped them here. And the coaching staff is talking to Charlie Martin on the Packers sideline trying to calm him down. Well, they had their shot at Jim McMahon as Mike Dick is the calmest player. He's not a player anymore. He's the calmest person on the sidelines, but he won't stay that way. He uh, he has got confidence in his team, and he says that uh, he doesn't like the Packers. The Packers don't like him. He says he remembers the 60s. And he said everybody used to offend the Bears. He said, I'm tired of being offended. He said the, the Bears are going to offend other people. If they don't like it, uh, they can lump it. And that's basically, I'm paraphrasing, but that's what he said, and I'm not exaggerating. Maury Buford will. Morris, let's go back and look at that uh, last sack with Charlie Martin getting to McMahon. Martin got uh, to the outside of Mark Borch, 62, and gets in the sack as Edward Johnson is wheeled out of the play. Now, here comes the sack by, by Martin, and he gets down on McMahon. Now, is he celebrating or is he pounding on McMahon? What is he doing there? That's what ticked off Keith Van Horn, who came in and piled on. So the trailing 3-0 will have the ball at their own 39-yard line. Moorhead sets up on the right side. The tight end, and now Sue is shifting. He's off to Peyton. Peyton cuts it back inside, picks up about three yards, and a crushing block after Peyton was down by number 29, Ken Stills. The rookie from Wisconsin putting a lick on Suey, and that brought flags everywhere. 
Ken Stills was a late cut in the training camp this year after being their eighth pick. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness. Number 29 defense, 15 yards, automatic first down. Well, I think the Packers are losing some composure now. It's happened too many times in this football game. Stills getting a chance to play and uh, overdoing it. 29 on 26. There was Suey was just standing there uh, watching the play, and Stills came in and just gave him a clobber. Just gave him a clobber. Completely uncalled for. Thank you, says Matt Suey. I'll see you later in the game. And meanwhile, for the Bears, a first down. Jordan from the goal line takes a hit. The pass is caught by Kaufman. A battle for the loose ball. Singletary on the coverage, and it will be Green Bay ball. What a catch by Kaufman. Singletary is curious. He says he made the intercept. A 22-yard first down play. A flag down after the play was whistled dead. Well, Mike Singletary is upset, but it did appear that Kaufman had the ball, went down, hit the turf, and then he yanked the ball out afterwards. And up in here. It was into double coverage. They had him well covered. Jim Zorn was uh, got the ball off. As you're going to take a look at Kaufman with Wilbur Marshall, he put a good move on Wilbur Marshall, who's covering him downfield, number 58 and number 50 Singletary, two linebackers on the coverage on the tight end. Now, they have the coverage, but Kaufman just went up, took the ball. He's down. He's got the ball at this point, and then it is kind of, there it is under his yeah, foot. It's kind of looks... hard to tell, but it looked like, when he came down, he had the ball. Yes, yes, he did. And that's what the officials ruled, that the play was over, that he was down with the ball, with the completion. And when it came loose, Singletary grabbed it and thought it should be a fumble. a shot and two oh. bear linemen oh did Charles Martin throw McMahon to the turf he really leveled him after the ball was gone and uh, he was down on his shoulder I don't know if he hit his uh, his sore shoulder but Charles Martin took the shot at McMahon well after the ball was thrown and slammed him to the turf You can see the ball is gone, and here's McMahon standing there. Here comes Martin. Ball is long gone. What is this? Well, man, that, yeah, that's, that that's is, ridiculous. Uh, I, he should be out of the game. Yeah, I think there's going to be an ejection. Mike Ditka is out Ditka's on the football field. on the field, field with Jerry Markwright. I mean, that was a good second and a half, two seconds after the... The ball was downfield, and McMahon didn't even see Martin behind him. Well, we expected the rough stuff here, but we didn't expect uh, to see something quite that flagrant. A discussion with Mark Bright and his colleagues. Now, and here's how it happened in regular speed. This is just the way it happened live. One, two. Now, they're... they're uh, if He's got to be out of the football game, and there's another uh, critical situation here. This game is going to get out of hand if the referees don't take a firm charge because the Bears are are, are very mad about that. Uh, you know what happened last last year when Ken Stills hit uh, Matt Suey? We say that there's uh, no love loss between the two teams, but now it is getting out of hand. Jerry Markwright's got a job ahead of him. We saw Keith Van Horn, one of the first Bear offensive linemen to come back and push Martin away. And Martin is gone. Now, he was wearing a little towel on his belt with the numbers written on it of the guys that he intended to try and get some licks on. And on that list was we quarterback Jim McMahon. This interception by Green Bay. After the interception, we have a personal foul, disqualifying foul. Number 94, Green Bay. It's Green Bay's ball. First and 10 after 15-yard penalty. First down. Now there's Charles Martin, number 94. What are they congratulating him for? Third-year man from Livingston College. And he has been playing real well on the nose all season long.